Happy holidays everyone, Nikki here with Nikki Loves Books and today we have another unboxing, surprisingly. So the last bookish box video I had ended up being the Young Adult September box. So I have a feeling this is probably going to be the September Adult bookish box. Alright, I am stoked to dive into this and see what our next book is and the next fabulous bookish items we got. Okay, so it does say September, so again, this is the September bookish box, and it should be the adult box, unless they shipped out to young adult boxes to me, which would be very unfortunate. So the adult bookish box September theme is Wicked Entanglements. Let's take a look at our fabulous items. Alright, first thing we got is this, which I'm going to assume is a metal bookmark. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay. And yes, I was right. So this was in there like this. I'm pretty sure they should have packaged this. So it was on one side and then you can find on the other side that it is, in fact, a metal bookmark. So it does say River of Shadows metal bookmark. Art by At No One Designs. So this is beautiful. So if you guys can't tell, this comes out a little bit. So we'll clip onto the pages. So the quote, you can call me death and I will call you mine. I now want to read that book. I have never heard of this book, but I want to read it now. Just from that one quote. The skull and floral metal bookmark includes a lovely quote from River of Shadows by Karina Howell, designed by At No One Designs. This bookmark is filled with wicked vibes. I 100% agree, and I must have this book, like now. Our next fabulous item seems to be a mug. It comes in this box that says Romanticy Reader Gloss Mug. And it says Art by at the Inking Rose. And it's beautiful. So our very beautiful Romanticy Reader mug has some wonderful romance books on it. Court of Thorns and Roses, of course. Zodiac Academy. Present City. Just I get so many cool mugs from both Bookish Box and Owl Crate that my husband's kind of getting pissy about it. And I'm just like, I'd rather... Throw out our plain mugs that came, you know, as a set with our dishware. I'm like, I hate them. I'd rather have my very cute mugs. Thank you very much. Exclusively designed for our fellow Romanticy readers. Add a splash of color to your morning drink of choice with this prism pink glass mug that showcases some of our favorite Romanticy reads with artwork by At The Inking Rose. This 12 ounce mug is recommended to be hand washed only to ensure a long lasting design. Again, thank you for letting me know to hand wash these things. I usually do anyway because I'm always worried about things getting ruined in the dishwasher, but I hate when they don't tell you. So our next fabulous item in our September adult bookish box is a candle. Label artwork by Sylve and Design Co. And I'm happy to announce that you guys can't read that. This is a Terrison candle, which I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge Sarah J. Moss fan and have been for a very long time. So we, we are going to open this, see how wonderful it is. So here is our beautiful Terrison candle. Most importantly, though, with a candle is the smell. It's better smell like fucking magic forest. And it does. Oh my God. Okay. So I think last time we met, I was going on and on and on about the candle that was in the young adult bookish box and saying how amazing it was. I still think that one is pretty damn amazing, but this one, this one's a good runner up. Like it just smells like mountain forest, like grass, pine, wood, even like snow. Introducing the ninth candle in our literary wonderlust candle collection. 
this month's location is Terrasen from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss. We did a fall twist, so you'll enjoy the scent of a mountainous fall day while you burn this candle. The vintage travel poster inspired label was created by Sylve and Design Co. Like I said, it is a fantastic smell and it makes sense why I feel like this is a runner up to the other candle that we talked about in the Young Adult Bookish Box for September is because they did some fall notes in this. And fall by far has my absolute favorite scents. So our next item is this. So let's open this up. Okay. So mine got a little bent at the bottom, but that's totally okay. It's just, it's just one page. It's not going to kill anyone. So this is our beautiful romanticy notepad that we got. The fantastic thing is that it is sticky. So it's sticky. I like sticky notes. So notepad, fantastic. I love the design. It's very pretty. I don't always typically write in my book, so I do like having sticky notes to write something down and then stick it on the page. So this, very handy. Whether you are needing to Jot down a quick thought, create a grocery list, or write up your to-be-read list. A notepad always comes in handy. We are obsessed with the dark floral and fantasy design at Inked by Jenna created for your new romanticy notepad. Our adult bookish box also includes an exclusive art print. This pre-order incentive for A Taste of Gold and Iron was extended to our adult bookish box subscribers featuring artwork by at Martina Vakova. And this artwork is just beautiful. And it is because of this artwork that I will now be checking out this book to see what it's about. So the book again is A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. All right, my book lovers, that is it for our bookish merch this month. As a reminder, I do not get the shirt from the bookish box. For our main event, we have our book, which I'm always super excited about because this is why I get the bookish box. Yes, I can just get the book only from bookish box. That is an option for subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, if you just want the book, just know that you can do that. I love the goodies as well. So I got both, but this is the main reason why I get the bookish box. Silly me, that art print is for the book of this month. So I'm so happy that that art print made me want to read the book because I now own the book. And obviously if I had read the email, I would have known that this is the book, but I did not. So our book this month is A Taste of Gold and Iron by Alexandra Rowland. Kadu, the shy prince of Arashd, finds himself at odds with one of the most powerful ambassadors at court. The body father, body father, body, the body father of the queen's new child in an altercation that results in his humiliation. The goblin emperor meets magnificent sentry where a queer central romance unfolds in a fantasy world reminiscent of the Ottoman Empire. Very intriguing. The body father, though, that is what I couldn't get over. I was like, wait, the body father, like, what the fuck? Um, so the body father, interesting. It sounds like to me like sperm donor, but the body fa like it's just so weird. Okay. Anyway, moving on our exclusive luxe edition of a taste of golden iron is signed by the author has exclusive foiled reverse dust jacket by covered dungeon rabbit. The hardcover case is beautiful. But there's also exclusive custom end papers by At Cover Dungeon Rabbit. Exclusive stenciled edges also by At Cover Dungeon Rabbit. There's also an exclusive page overlay illustrated by At Miss Ugly Pants. So that is all the details I have for our exclusive Lux edition of A Taste of Gold and Iron, which I'm so excited to start. I'm a little sad now because I started the Owl Crate book for December 2022, which I literally just started. And I'm already very interested and I'm enjoying it. 
but I kind of wish I waited until I got this book because I'm really, really, really intrigued here. But it's okay, I will read this next. I'll just have to get through the other book really quickly. All right, everyone, before you leave, we do need to go through the Bookish Box newsletter. But more importantly, we need to find out the theme for next month. And again, when I say next month, I don't mean January. I mean October. Because again, this is the September adult Bookish Box. So when I say next month's theme, it's for October, which should be here now. I have to check the shipping up at dates again. I'm hoping we get another bookish box at the end of this month. At least one, if not two more. That would be so exciting and it would be a Christmas miracle. Okay, so our September bookish box newsletter. It does include information about the bookish box itself. And like I said, you can pick and choose if you want a different type of box. So if you just want the books, if you want the books and the goodies, if you want the book goodies and shirt, there's choices and options. They do use one newsletter for both boxes that month. So young adult and the adult box. So there is information about the young adult box here. So the theme, the items that was in the box, yada, yada, yada. Then we get onto the adult box and same thing. So the theme, the items, yay. They do also include a small interview with the authors of both books. So you have a small interview with the author of the young adult book and then a small interview with the author of the adult book. Then the more exciting thing and what I always look forward to, they have a Spotify playlist. I love these. And then they talk about items that are in the shop and sadly this was again for the month of September so a lot of these items are gone now because they were for fall. Very very sad. But I can tell you Bookish Box does have fantastic items in their shop, so definitely check them out. Okay, so on to what we should expect for the next adult Bookish Box. So again, the October adult Bookish Box. So our theme for the adult Bookish Box is Eternal Bonds. Love it. Sadly, the sneak peek is for an item that I do not receive, so it's for the t-shirt. So, we are extremely thrilled to share that our October Adult Eternal Bonds theme box, boxes that include shirts, will include a bookish box exclusive tee inspired by A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. This tee is designed by at Daphne's B. Bain, and it is giving medieval gothic vibes. This book has overwhelming love from our bookish team, so we knew our bookish fam would need a shirt inspired by this, their new exclusive luxe edition. So sadly, we will not be displaying the t-shirt because I do not get the t-shirt, but I'm still very excited about this box because there should be fantastic items as always. So hope you all can join me for our next bookish box unboxing and or my Owl Crate unboxing, which I always do as well. Wishing you all a very happy holiday if I don't see you before then, but I hope I do.